Welcome back to Multisim Tutorial Part 2. In this video, we'll learn simulation. So I've made a circuit assuming that you already know how to make this circuit, which I described in Part 1. In this circuit, I have a 12 volt source, 300 ohm resistor, and a 1K load. I'm assuming this is the internal resistance of this voltage source. Hence, I changed the name here, our internal. Click on analysis and simulation. There's a pop-up window here. It actually gives all different types of simulations that you can think of. You will only learn DC sweep. So let's select DC sweep. What DC sweep is in here, in this simulation, you can actually change voltage or current values and can see the corresponding voltage and current changes. So the analysis parameter here, we will have source. We have source V1. So we like to start from zero and perhaps it's better to start from one in order to avoiding any zero division. And we like to go up to 20 volts with an increment of, let's say I want a smaller increment. So it's 0 0.1. So this is the sweep. What will change at the output? What do we want to see at the output? We like to see the voltage across R2, which is V2. Select V2, click on add. So this is now the output parameter and run simulation. So we have a graph here and that gives us the voltage here x-axis, which is V1, and y-axis is also output voltage. So if we change input voltage, that is V1, from zero to 20, this is how the output voltage will change, or the voltage across resistor R2 will change. Now this is an interesting graph. We can change the background. We can do a lot of things here. It's a pretty good grapher. Let's change this axis. So if we click there, this is left axis and bottom axis. So the bottom axis, we like to, I like to write it as V1, or I like to write it as source voltage. You need V and I like to see from zero to 20 with the total points 10, fine. And for the left axis, I like to write it as load voltage. So everything changes, load voltage to source voltage. And uh, you can also export this data to Excel. So if you click here, you can export this data to an Excel file. You can save this graph. You can copy this graph. You can just copy it from copy graph and you can paste it, for example, in a Word file, Control V. So you can copy and paste simply that graph there. You can change this title if you want. So go to traces, general. So DC transfer characteristics. I would say DC, I would say test. Okay, so it changes to test. If I don't want this title, just delete it, okay. So just test if I don't need that, you can delete that one. 
So there is a pretty uh, good graph for this one. Okay, now we got this one. So let's close our graph and go to simulate again. Analyze and simulation. This time, I like to change the parameters. So I like to go to parameter sweep. So we have three parameters here, uh, three elements here. So the device I like to pick is a resistor. Which resistor? We have two resistors, so it shows R2 and R internal. I like to change R2 and my start value is zero. My stop, okay, parameter is even you can choose temperature, temperature coefficient, power, all different things. So I'm going to pick resistance. So current value is one kilo ohms. It really doesn't matter because it will sweep from, this is the starting value, zero to, I like to go to one kilo ohms and type of analysis is DC operating point, not AC. Sweep variation linear. What I want to see at the output is my voltage across R2. Which is V2 here. So I added there. Now everything ready. Just run the simulation. So this is the voltage. If we change the resistance, I can bottom axis, I can change the decimal numbers to zero. Okay, so this is what we got. Now let's go back again. Before starting next simulation, we again need to see the nodes. What node are these? To see this, we need to go to nets and you see the net names. If you click on zero, that shows this node. So this is node zero, node one, this is node one, and this is node two, that is node two. So if you want to measure voltage at this point, we will choose V2. And as I will show you, let's go to simulate, select analysis and simulation. This time we'll do parameter sweep. So select parameter sweep. And what type of parameters will sweep? We'll change the register values, R2 values. So there are two registers, let's pick R2, and this really doesn't matter. So R2 value will start from zero and will go to one, up to one kilo ohms, with an increment of, let's say, 10 ohms. We'll change it to one. Really short increment. And what we want to see at our output is power, as, you, as I told you, see V2 is the voltage across R2. But anyway, this time we are going to pick power. So the power across R2, which is already here, then everything is ready. Run the simulation and see changing. So we got an interesting curve. To make it better visible, I like to remove all these decimal places to zero and also the here left axis again decimal places to zero and start from zero to 1.4 with say seven points. Okay, interestingly, we see 
that there is a curve here. So the power becomes maximum somewhere at this point, perhaps around here. So as you know, this is maximum power transfer theorem. Now there are a whole lot of other simulations that you can try and or watch the other tutorials. So this is all about DC sweep and parameter sweep simulation. Thank you for watching it. And I encourage you to watch the next video, which will show you transistors.